How are we? Happy Monday. I love Mondays. Of course, I love Sundays, Saturdays, and every other day. Hey, I want to talk to you today about something that is so important, something that is so missed, and that is when to stop praying. How many of you know that prayer is not always a good thing? Don't, don't hang up the phone. Don't hang up the phone. It's always good to talk to the Lord. It's always good to praise the Lord. But sometimes prayer is not a good thing. And sometimes you have to know when to stop praying. The Lord showed me this the other day. I'm telling you, he dropped it into my spirit. We've been, been going through uh, a deal with uh, some people. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a very competitive person. I don't like to lose. Now, when I play cards for fun or play ball or, or something like that for fun, then I'm not real aggressive. But I'm aggressive when it comes to the devil. I'm aggressive when it comes to sickness. I'm aggressive when it comes to getting God's people blessed. I am very aggressive and very much of a warrior. I do not like to lose those battles. I take it personally. And so I've been asking the Lord to show me why people fail to receive. Why, why, why some people, so many people that, that come to us, they, they, they come in there or they call and boom, they, they're, I mean, it's just a, it's a done deal. They get healed of all kinds of stuff. I mean, we have literally had people raised off their deathbeds in the intensive care unit while I'm on speakerphone. A bunch of people. We've had, I couldn't begin to tell you how many people we have seen raised up off their deathbeds. I mean, and some of them, in three cases, four cases, maybe more, they were within hours of dying. I'm telling you, this, this is, this is you, but we've had some people here that did not receive their healing. And I'm going to tell you how this came about. I was on the phone the other day with somebody, uh, was telling me about her boys had not received. You know who you are. You're, you're the reason for this. And I praise God for you. Amen. But she was on the phone. She wanted to talk to me about something else. <clears throat> and she mentioned the fact that her boys weren't any better. And she said, but, and I've been praying for them every day. And I'm telling you, it was like an epiphany. It's like the light bulbs all went off when she said that. And my spirit just went carbloom and and it just dropped into me. And I said to her, that's the problem. That's the problem. You're still praying. She is praying and asking God and trying to make something happen that was already done. <clears throat> now here's the deal. I want to. I want to. I'm going to make a statement. I'm going to make a statement to you. Every time I speak over somebody or pray over somebody, I get results. Every single solitary time, without fail, because of the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus never fails. Never fails. 
absolutely never. It never fails to heal a sick person. It never fails to heal finances. It never fails to bless somebody who needs to be blessed. That name never fails. But, <clears throat> I'll give you an example. <clears throat> a man, well, I was taken to see a person dying of cancer. Very prominent businessman in our area. This guy, beautiful home. Probably a million dollar home we went to. He's laying stretched out on a chair. His friend came to the door. He said, I'm sorry, he says, I can't get up. He says, I, he, he's just, he's literally laying there screaming in pain. This cancer was wrapped around his colon and rectum, squeezing him. And he could not function. His body was not function, and he was literally screaming in pain. So his friend talked for a little bit. And then we kind of indicated it was my turn. <clears throat> and I said to the guy, I said, all I said was, do you believe God can heal you? Do you believe God can do this? And he said, yes, if he wants to. I said, whoa, this guy goes to a very prominent church here in this area. They're packed. Three services every Sunday morning. The cops have to stand out on the street to let the cars out. There's so many people. I said, listen, I said, God never wants you to die of sickness or disease. He always wants you healed. The guy didn't know that. I said, I'm going to speak over you and pray over you right now, and God's going to heal you right now. He said, okay. So I did. Well, we're sitting there. After I'm done, he's still screaming in pain. And we just sit there. About 15 minutes later, he says, he says, the, he says, the pain's leaving. He says, the pain's leaving. He says, it's stopping. 10 minutes after that, this guy gets up. He stands up. And it was time for us to go. And he walked outside with us. He is standing outside talking to us <clears throat> like there's nothing wrong with him. The name of Jesus healed that man. He was healed. I believe with all my heart the name of Jesus healed that man. Three days later, I get a message from him that he's back in pain. What happened was he went right back to the doctor. Went right back on the pain pills. Kept praying. Kept praying. His friends kept coming in praying for him. It was back. Back that quick. So I went back down there again. Spoke over him again. He felt better. Never stopped praying. So then he says to me, he says, uh, I went down there on a, on a Sunday night and his wife was there and his wife's sister was there. And he says, I'm going to have surgery tomorrow to relieve this pain in my colon. I said, well, Okay. I don't tell anybody not to seek treatment. Never. Never. I said, okay. I said, when you do, after they relieve the pain, and doctors sometimes can relieve pain, that's a good thing. We believe in doctors. We just don't look to them as our healer. I said, after you're done with that surgery, I said, then we'll concentrate 
on getting you healed and having God heal you. He said, okay, okay. Two minutes later, he says to me, he says, you know, he says, after the surgery, he says, the doctors are going to start chemo again. He says, they think they can do me some good. I told him, I said, listen, you are not going to die of this cancer. You won't die of this cancer. The next morning, he had the surgery. He was dead the following day. An infection from the surgery killed him. He didn't die of the cancer. I saw his wife a couple days later in the store. And I said, I'm, I'm so sorry. And she said, well, she said, you told us Sunday night that he would not die of cancer. She says, he didn't. I said, no. I said, they killed him with an infection. They got an infection all through his, <clears throat> all through his abdomen. He died of an infection. He didn't die of cancer. <clears throat> Listen, when I'm there with the name of Jesus, they're not going to die of that disease. <clears throat> but he could not get his eye on Jesus and could not stop praying about his problem. Stop praying. I'm telling you, once I speak over you, you're done. All you do is say, Lord, thank you for my healing. Lord, thank you for my blessing. And you go about your life. Stop praying about it. Because the minute you keep praying about it, you're, you're, you're showing doubt and unbelief. Stop praying. Once, once you get me involved, you let me take care of it. Give it to me. Let me have it. Stop praying. I'll get you healed. I'll get you blessed. You don't need to pray about that anymore. If you're praying about it, you're trying to make it happen. You don't believe that what I did worked. Those are the people that don't receive. That's the reason. Glory to God. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Get a hold of me. But I'm telling you, don't call me until you're ready to stop praying. Once you're ready to stop praying, I'll get you healed. I'll get you blessed. I'll get everything taken care of for you. But you have got to give it to God. Amen. Go to increasenow.com. Hey, I'm out of time for today. Was that good? I'm telling you what, people. You've got to stop praying and just stand. Because once you call me, you've done all you can do. That's it. If you keep praying, you are trying to make it happen. Which means you don't believe it. Brother Hagen always told us, he said, once I pray about something, that's the end of it. Now, I know what he was talking about. I know, I appreciate what he was talking about. When he prayed about something, that was the end of it. He didn't pray no more. God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. Stop praying once I get involved. I'll take care of it.